Hello and welcome to some more Star Citizen news. We've got a new concept ship that's on sale, a spring merch sale as well as on. We've got some clarifications of the Drake Vulture and its ability to salvage and what can it do exactly in the upcoming 3.18 patch in, well, I suppose in a few months time. Uh, but we also have a look at the latest couple of P2 patches for Alpha 3.17. The Misk Expanse is the latest concept ship to go on sale from Star Citizen. Cloud Imperium said, The newest concept refinery ship from Misk will take your mining operation to a whole new level, transform raw materials mined by yourself or others into saleable materials, and make Alpha UEC on the fly with the Misk Expanse. It's available from $135 and it's an entry level single seater craft, and it's going to pair really well with the Prospector because it can refine the ore that the prospector can drop off uh, and then it can be picked up by that expanse num 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 it can be refined in various ways with its six reactors which can be used to run different m refining processes on ore and it's nicely modular with the prospector it uses the same saddlebags it's got a tractor beam it, it refines what more could you possibly need cloud imperium are also putting together a q and a on the ship you can ask questions on the thread for that or upvote the ones that you like and that should be in our hands as a written sort of article in the next couple of weeks or within the next couple of weeks there is a star citizen merch sale currently on with up to 65 percent off some merch i have personally bought myself a finley space while that little plush there there's also a toby eye tracker sale as well which is the use your eyes to help control and look around your spaceships and stuff um i will link that down below this week's sneak peek in the newsletter appeared to be of the drake corsair cockpit um, so i'm really looking forward to the drake corsair i think a lot of people are that is the no frills but pretty high tier exploration ship from drake and it's gonna be i suppose lightly competitive with the Carrack, although it's it's not the same as Carrack. Carrack's high tier and it's got all the bells and whistles. Uh, there was a bit of confusion for the Drake Vulture and it, was it going to get the ability to repair ships in the short term, um, sort of uh, using its hull stripped salvage? Cloud and Pyramid responded to this. No, the Drake Vulture cannot repair other ships, but there will be a filler station that will not only fill your scraped off material into commodity boxes, but you'll also be able to craft ammunition for your FPS repair tool, which you can use yourself to patch up damage to any of your or your friend's ships, or even sell it to any vendor who will buy it. Hope this clarified some things. So it doesn't appear that the Drake Vulture is going to get temporary repairing, however, you can basically just use it to fill your repair tool which is pretty cool and then you can go out and do hand-based repair it currently looks like salvage the vulture and repair tools and salvage tools will all be coming in alpha 3.18 at the moment i saw a new star citizen fan film and machinima policy turn up on the rsi website uh, or at least the support site if you're considering making fan films or machinima then you'll want to read that as there are some things that you can't do, especially in regards to revenue, funding, and what footage you can use in what type of situations and for what type of videos. Star Citizen Alpha 3.17 is still in open PTU. They're pushing, at least in my opinion, it looks like they're pushing for a live release at the end of the coming week, if possible. But it's going to be dependent on whether they get everything ironed out, or at least to a good enough level. You can expect a 3.17.1 patch later in the cycle, almost certainly when we have Fleet Week at the end of May. Um, but we'll have to wait and see beyond that what happens with this patch. But we've had an R and S patch too on the PTU. So let's go through the patch notes for those briefly. Uh, the R patch, there's been a temporary rebalance of inventory capacities for all ships. Quantum drive should now engage consistently, which is fantastic to hear. There should no longer be a vis area issue between customs and traveler rentals in the Riker Memorial spaceport. Area 18 traveler rental kiosk should no longer appear blank when accessed. Mining lasers and consumables should now apply their properties to mining deposits. Missiles should no longer behave jittery when under heavy server load. The Origin 85X landing gear should no longer be stuck in the hangar floor after spawning. The Aurora ship interactions should no longer obscure interactions with MFDs, multifunction displays. The Gemini and the bearing sniper rifle recall should now be working correctly. There's some updated server logic so that you can't be stuck in a deadlocked situation. It sort of will now kick you in the S patch, they added blinking lights to mining gadgets when not attached to a mineable node. 
Quantum drives should now engage consistently. Ground mineable rocks should no longer spawn inside other rocks. Uh, players' HUDs should no longer be spammed with constant assist notifications. Quickly trying to equip items should no longer cause them to sometimes be dropped on the floor. They fixed an issue that was causing equipment to disappear and be lost permanently when trying to equip as well, which is annoying. Well, good that they fixed it. Uh, last held items should no longer be teleported back into players' hands. The Cassava outlet shops at rental shops should no longer have empty shelves. Lawville's trading terminals in the business district should now have proper interactions. Their display chips, paints should no longer change after docking with the Miska Starfarer. Mining gadgets should no longer slide down the face of mineable nodes on planets and moons. Between the patches, they fixed nine client crashes, four server crashes, and two server deadlocks. And the PTU is actually shaping up a lot better now. It's a lot more accessible, it's a lot more playable, at least when I've played it briefly. Um, so um, it does seem to be getting there. Boom! That's it for your Star Citizen news update today. But I'm interested to know, are you going to be picking up an Expanse? Are you looking forward to Alpha 3.17 Live? If you're playing in the PTU at the moment, what do you think of that? Are you looking to make some Star Citizen Machinima? Uh, do you have a favourite Star Citizen Machinima that you've watched already? Whatever your thoughts, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. I was feeling tired and sluggish. I found out that I was allergic to adverts and malware in 2022, which means I can't use the internet if only there was a service that could help. Wait! There is NordVPN.com slash BoardGamer. It's NordVPN that I use, and it blasts away a load of my advert and malware-based concerns while allowing me to freely explore the internet. Maybe I want to be in the USA today and pretend that I'm an American. W what's this? Now I'm down under in the Australias? Wait, now I'm in the UK. Okay, I, I live there. That is less impressive. NordVPN has done so much for me. Sign up with the links below or go to nordvpn.com slash boardgamer. Every month we have a ship giveaway. For April 2022, we're giving away an Origin 400i. It's a luxury exploration and touring ship, which will be great for a small crew wishing to explore the stars or try out a multitude of other gameplay. It's like a little yacht in space, a little piece of luxury. All you need to do to be in for a chance to win that is comment on any of my videos made during April 2022. More details in the description below. If you wish to further support the channel, consider clicking the join button under my videos to become a channel member or even become a Patreon. That goes a massive way in helping with our day-to-day -day videos and gives you a variety of little exclusives as well. But it should just make you feel warm and fuzzy inside. Join today! Thanks so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and comment if so inclined and I'll see you in the verse.